Pretty amazing story that's not getting enough attention tonight. A House Democratic staffer is suing a Democratic member of Congress. The staffer says she was fired for making an allegation of rape. Fox correspondent David Spunt is on the story for us. Thank you. Yeah, Tucker, as you're saying, well, disturbing allegations coming from a former employee of longtime Texas Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. This former employee claims that she was raped by a former Congressional Black Caucus Foundation employee and was fired by Jackson Lee's office after the employee planned to sue. The former Jackson Lee staffer named Jane Doe in a lawsuit filed just last Friday says a former intern coordinator for the Caucus Foundation named a man named Damian Jones. She's saying that he raped her in 2015. Jane Doe says that Jones was her supervisor at the time. Doe reported the alleged rape to authorities, but the investigation was inconclusive when it came to evidence. Well, when she went to tell authorities, fast forward to 2017, Jane Doe took a job with Congresswoman Jackson Lee out of Texas, who became chair of the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. Jane Doe found out that Damian Jones was also going to be working with her again, and she reported to authorities that she had a prior situation with him. Now, Jane Doe says that she repeatedly reached out to Congresswoman Jackson Lee, who would not meet her. Now, to be clear, we reached out to Damian Jones, mentioned in this lawsuit for comment, but we have not heard back. We do, though, Tucker, have a statement from Congresswoman Jackson Lee's office. I want to read it in part. It says, quote, the office adamantly denies the allegations that it retaliated against or otherwise improperly treated the plaintiff. It is against office policy to discuss specific details about internal personnel matters. Congresswoman Jackson Lee has an outstanding record of supporting civil rights and non-discrimination, both in legislation legislation and in her own office. Now, the statement goes on to say that Jackson Lee, when she came to Congress in 1995, was a strong supporter of the Congressional Accountability Act, which protects congressional employees. The statement also says, Tucker, that Jackson Lee is confident that when the facts come to light, her office will be exonerated and the matter will be put to rest. Tucker. Her defense, I'm a good person. David Spun, thank you very much for that.